Hey, what's up friends and welcome back to The Gentleman's Journey. In this one, we're back in the shop and we're talking about another boot care product. Now friends, this might be the most expensive conditioner you've ever seen on the channel and it might be the best one you'll ever see, period. That's Saphir Renovator. Now guys, I can't wait to get into this stuff. It's been a long time coming. I first got onto it by Kirby Allison. Guys, if you haven't watched his stuff, he is the guru on Saphir. He is just the ultimate gentleman and guys, certainly he knows a lot about this stuff. I got onto that with him and so I can't wait to do this video. Now friends, I'm gonna end up using it on my Thursday Captains. This is like the Thursday Chrome XL leather and this is particularly good for wax leathers, for smooth skin and different Chrome XLs. A lot of guys use this as a base and then they'll go ahead with their cream polish or wax over the top of it. So friends, we're gonna talk about some of the ingredients, a bit about the history of the company, and then we're gonna be putting them on the captains. So I can't wait for it. If you haven't already, consider subscribing. Guys, we got a bunch of conditioner videos and a bunch more coming. We've done a few boots, to say the least, and we got a bunch more boots coming. I have some really fun videos up ahead, so I really hope you'll consider subscribing and coming along for my journey. Guys, let's get into it a bit. So friends, this Saphir is made over in France and it's won several awards. It's kind of the gold standard, you know, Kirby Allison calls it liquid gold. Uh, some of the most picky boot aficionados around the world will use this on their fine dress shoes. So really, you can't go wrong, but we wanna make sure that we're using it for the right application because even the best quality materials can be bad used in the wrong environment. So guys, this stuff is coming in around $26.50 right now. I'll drop a link to Amazon to this and any other products I use below. Uh, it's affiliate link, it helps out the channel, doesn't cost you any extra. But guys, let me just give you a little frame of reference, something to compare this to. Uh, so this Saphir Greasy Leather Cream, this is $14.30 for four ounces, 4.2. And then you have this Venetian Shoe Cream, uh, this stuff is coming in for $10.95 for three ounces. So guys, just to give you a frame of reference, this is expensive, so we gotta see if it kinda lives up to the gold standard. Uh, these are some awesome products. Venetian Shoe Cream is probably its main competitor. Obviously, Saphir is not its competitor. Same company. Uh, this is what, again, Kirby Allison recommends for a lot of Chrome XL leathers. He did a whole video where he walks through his hunting boot. I think he has the thousand mile boot in Chrome XL, if I remember right, and he really liked this on there. These boots have, in the last few years, have had a lot of this on it. In fact, this whole bottle has just about gone into these boots, as well as some others. And then I have the brown Venetian shoe cream. Now this has been another one, a staple on these boots, but today it's gonna get a fine treatment. Now friends, the ingredients list on this stuff it's rather hidden, but we do know that it has beeswax in there, and then of course it has mink oil. Now, Saphir boasts a really proud way of harvesting the mink oil, if you will. They say that it's environmentally friendly and amongst the top tier of all the mink oils. So I have seen lots of different people use this. We're trying it for ourselves today. The understanding is that it won't darken your leather much. Again, the idea is to test it in a small area, so I like to test the collar actually, rather than the heel like you hear guys say, just because my pants will end up covering that up. Uh, so that collar area works good for me. I ran some tests and I haven't seen, I've even tried on some lighter leathers. I didn't notice it darkening the leather, especially after you give it some hours uh, to sit there and dry. So I'm pretty happy with that. Again, it's not supposed to have any kind of solvents or harsh chemicals in there, any alcohols. Uh, it does say it cleans but it's they, another thing they boast is that it isn't gonna have any harsh chemicals that are gonna tear up your expensive dress shoes, your loafers and all that stuff. So this is on the exotic leathers, again, and all of your fine leathers, it's not gonna harm them. So friends, this is part of Saphir's Medal d'Or line. Now that's the top tier line that they have, and it actually has pine paste, turpentine, and then vegetable waxes. Now I believe this would have it too because my research was showing me that all the Saphir Medal d'Or line has that. Uh, so take that with a grain of salt, but I don't think we're gonna learn a lot more. You know, you've seen different videos and guys have found safety data sheets and stuff like that. So 
There's a little bit more information it looks like out there, uh, but we're gonna leave it there with the ingredients. So I was telling you earlier that this is actually a cleaner as well. It cleans your leather, it protects it, it's supposed to be deep penetrating, and it leaves a little layer of wax. Now we know that it has that beeswax in there and some other waxes that are hidden from us, but essentially it has uh, kind of three layers there. It conditions, it nourishes, and it's supposed to clean. If your boots aren't extremely dirty, then we're just gonna get the dust off them. Now, a horsehair brush is a must in every gentleman's care line, so make sure if you haven't to check out my boot brush video. I have the Cobbler's Choice here. I use that one a lot. It's a good little brush. Now, if your boots are even more dirty, don't forget that these conditioners don't do everything. You just don't wanna expect that out of a product. Uh, just like other things in the shop, you know, you have your transmission fluid, you have your differential fluid, you have your motor oil. Uh, so you have, Cobbler's Choice has some leather cleaner. I really like this. I did a full video on it, so make sure and check that out. Red Wing has some leather cleaner. Love that stuff on my Red Wings. And then there's saddle soap. So figure out what you like to use. Again, Saphir has some saddle soap. They have the rental mat. If you have some really deep stuff, if you made a mistake and dropped something you really don't like on there, I would consider maybe the Saphir rental mat. It's supposed to be really good. We'll probably do a video on that in the future. I'm not gonna touch this one so you can kind of see the before and after. This has some scuffs in there. So we'll see if it does anything for the scuffs. Uh, guys, I think it's time to get this stuff out. Now, I wish you could smell this through the camera. Oh man, check that out guys. Really does have an aroma to it right when you get out the gate. I must say I like the Saphir Greasy Leather Cream smell a little bit better. I'm not convinced anyone likes Venetian Shoe Cream smell. Some of this stuff isn't meant to be, you know, your roses and whatnot, but there's nothing quite like wood chips, though, if you're cutting wood. <laughs> oh, man. I wish they could make something smell like that. I'm going to do it with the with the little cloth. Uh, you can do it with your fingers. This stuff's, this has pure, pure ingredients. I'll just hit the tongue, just so I don't forget the tongue. Uh, just like any conditioner, friends, a little goes a long ways. Certainly seeing that change some colors right away. These boots have not been worn a lot recently. As you guys will know, my collection is growing. If you haven't, check out my my 2021 boot collection. I'm gonna be doing one here pretty soon with the my 2022 boot collection. As it grows, these things move farther and farther to the back of the closet. Uh, I'm finding different styles that I like and just different boots. I put them all through their paces for you guys. So when I give you a review, it's something that I've wore for a really long time. So when I do an original unboxing and walkthrough, we talk about the build quality, the construction, we talk about the sizing and just anything that there is to know about the company. Then we go back always and we do a one year review. So. We're almost done with this guy. If you guys have any questions, you know, basically it's just circular motions, working it in there. Uh, I always feel like I do a little bit better job when I'm not filming, but I did go ahead and take the laces out. Sometimes if my boots just need a little cleanup, I won't even take the laces out. You can definitely hit the edge of the boot and that heel stack. Again, the heel stack is leather. Guys, if you had your belt, you know, grab your belt off while you're doing this. Grab your wallet. I don't know what kind of leather products you use. Uh, the heel stack is something you don't want to forget because think about it, it's leather and it's closest to the ground. It's also the end grain of the leather. So it, it can absorb quite a bit of conditioner there. Now this stuff, again, doesn't really darken it. It's neutral, so you don't have to be worried about your edge. If you're doing edge dressing or something like that, or, or something with any kind of pigmentation, and you wanna leave that edge natural color, you're definitely gonna to wanna to be cautious around there. So I'm applying this with a cloth, and I think we got her pretty good. So right away, I'm not gonna wait around at all. We're just gonna grab the horsehair brush and start hitting it, guys. Let me know down in the comment section if you have any questions. If there's anything about this product 
that I didn't cover or if there's a boot or a type of leather that you wanna know if it'll work on, I would love to talk through that stuff with you guys. You can totally tell the difference where it's getting a nice shine to it. Where I haven't brushed, it's really dull. And so this is where you'll start taking into consideration, like I really thought about running my Iron Rangers with this stuff and I've only done Red Wings leather cream with it. I kind of wanted to do a test, you know, experiment, but guys, this, this stuff, I don't think it would dark my Iron Rangers much, uh, but again, it's kind of shiny. So you gotta start thinking, do you want that kind of sheen on your boots or are you going for a different look? These ones are still really dusty, so that's probably not fair, but just look at that. It's shining. It is absolutely beautiful. Uh, it didn't take the scuffs out right away. That's something that you can notice. So it didn't take the scuffs out completely, but it calmed them down a bunch. And so there's all kinds of different products as well for taking scuffs out. Now, another one that you've seen me talk about, it's a Saphir product. It's this uh, Cream Surfine Butte de Cure. Now this is their Bordeaux, number eight Bordeaux. This one, Saphir obviously has a Medal d'Or line in their cream polish as well. I thought this one is gonna work just fine for my boots. Uh, and it's a really good color match for the brown captains. I've talked about that in the past. This has that color pigmentation. So again, a lot of guys just use this to clean and it's like a base layer for wax. Some of this originally was just kind of crazy for me to understand, but really it's just, it could, it could be a run and gun go-to conditioner or you can use it on something like this, a little bit more of a dressy shoe and get it prepared. So then you can come back with a cream polish. Now on these boots, you're definitely gonna wanna go with a cream polish. I mean, I'm not looking for a real high shine. I'm probably looking more for that pigmentation to get those scuffs out. The only reason I'm not gonna do that today, guys, is I wanna come back in 24 hours and I wanna beat up some water on it. I wanna see how it does with resisting water. Has that mink oil, that's what you're really looking for. Again, Saphir has a great mink oil if you wanna check into that, just a pure mink oil. Uh, but it's still gonna kinda reflect water, deflect water, if you will. But my, by no means is it a water protector. I mean, there's other products out there for that. In fact, again, we have the leather protector by Red Wing. You can just spritz some of this on there. And then, of course, you have some waterproofing spray by Cobbler's Choice. I do wanna, I messed up a little bit, guys. I wanna make sure I didn't get that on there to mess with our demonstration later for the water beating. So we'll go ahead and rub that off real quick. But yeah, we're gonna come back in 24 hours. We're gonna let this sit. The reason I'm doing that is because I want to give it a little bit of time to soak in to see how the beating of the water actually works. And then I want to see if it darkens it. Again, this is a Thursday Captain in brown. I think it's kind of a Bordeaux color, uh, but I want to see if we can notice any kind of extreme darkening. We're going to beat up some water on it, guys. So we'll see you in 24 hours. All right, friends, here we are back 24 hours later and we're talking about this Saphir Renovator. Now, guys, we've done already clean them, we've conditioned them, and now we wanna see how the water is gonna beat up on it. So I got some water here, and essentially all we're trying to see is what layer of protection this will give you. We talked about the different waterproofing options. You could spray stuff on top just to give it that extra layer of protection, or if you were to put a cream wax polish, or if you had a calf skin or smooth skin leather, and you wanted to do a wax polish, you know, wax is really good about building up a layer. This has some wax in it, so let's kind of take some water and see how it does. Again, this is 24 hours later, so it's had time to cure, if you will. You can see it just puddling up on there. Uh, yep, that is awesome. For the average gentleman going to work, if you wear these maybe in an office, or if you do the more rough and tough, lifestyle like I use mine. Uh, guys, this is gonna give you a lot of protection. If you condition them once a month or something, if you're wearing them decent, uh, I'm really satisfied with that. So, is this the gold label stuff? Is this the best conditioner you'll ever see on the gentleman's journey? I don't know. 
I suppose that's a little bit subjective. I know there's a lot of guys that swear by it, and then some just think, you know, it's just too pricey for them. There's no reason for it. There's, you know, it just depends on the type of leather you're treating. So again, I don't want to come out and say this is the best conditioner because it's not. Probably the best conditioner is what you have right in your case at home right now because I always end every video with make sure you give those boots some love from time to time. And that's really what it's all about is care and condition and start to understand your leather a bit. And I'll tell you what, this stuff works on these boots. It's a good combination. Uh, a bit pricey, these boots are $200 boots. So you gotta factor in at some point you'll get cheap enough boots where you know, this stuff will cost half the cost of your entire boots. I have my, you know, I have some different little boots there that it's like, it just wouldn't be economical, if you will, to run this. So why not do some Big Four Venetian shoe cream or something like that? At any rate, I really hope you guys are enjoying this stuff. I'm enjoying making it. I'd love to know what other type of videos you guys would like to see on the channel. Let me know if you've used Sophia Renovator and what you've used it on. But until the next video, guys, God bless you. And hey, don't forget to give those boots some love from time to time. And that has turpentine. So this is... Mm. So it has turpentine, pine-based turpentine.